Hi guys, this is Faustine. Welcome back to the Physical Radio channel. We are in the studio for a new interview and today I'm very happy to receive the talented tattoo artist Jana Goto. Hello hey. Jana, how are you? Good, okay, and you? Yeah, good, thank you darling. Um, so can you tell us about your beginnings? Let's start with that. How did you become a tattoo artist and how long have you been doing this for? Yes, um, I'm always like since kid I like to draw. Mm -hmm. And then I met, uh, I have a one friend who met a tattoo artist in Japan. He's a really good and great, like recognizing all over, around the world. And I have a chance to meet him. Yeah. And then he gave me a lot of advice and he invited me to work at tattoo shop. But in that moment of my life, I have so many things happen and I couldn't accept. <laughs> and Damn. then I back to Brazil and have some friend that I was tattoo artist. So there I started like um, as a beginning, like everything. I learned how to do a needles and like old school style. Yeah. And then I started my career there. From there yeah, and then? from there. And I started in was 2011. 2011. Okay, so like uh, 2024 now. It, so 13 years yeah, ago. <laughs> around that. Oh wow, yeah, that's a long time. <laughs> And do you remember your first ever tattoo? What was it? And were you nervous at this time or were you excited? Yeah, my first uh, client who paid for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, um, oh, I don't know in English, it's a bug, <laughs> a red a bug. bug with um, tiny balls. like Ah, like, uh, like yeah, the ladybug. Ladybug, yeah, yeah, yeah. ladybug. And it was colorful. And yeah, like a this size, <laughs> like small one, and a small one. And but I'm really excited, not trying to be nervous because mm. if I'm nervous, my hands are gonna be shaking. Shaking, yeah. <laughs> so I I like to have a challenge, and so was everything new for me. So I was really happy to do that. To do that, nice. And but was that the first time you were tattooing a real person? Were you before in the learning process? Do you experience? tattooing like what can you tattoo to try do it like some sort of skin type but it's not like someone do yeah. you have this uh, yeah. my, first, my first tattoo experience was uh, in a rear skin <laughs> of my friend yeah he was tattooing with another friend and i was there just for looking and then he said do you want to try and i said of course oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> give it a little <laughs> and i like a lot and then i started to do <laughs> to do this okay yeah. nice and so you know a tattoo artist they usually have their unique style what is yours and what makes it unique yes um, I didn't have a chance to do a lot of things that I want to do because I have my own for a long time I had my own tattoo shop so I need to do whatever is come so but uh, I really like to do woman face um, no much like lines, just shadows and black and white. And black and white more than colors? Yes. Yeah. Okay, nice. And um, what do you enjoy the most about the tattooing process? Is it like the designing part, the inking, or the final result in the end? Yeah, I think the process. The process is really good because you start like with everything blank and then yeah. <laughs> you start to do some things and then you, while you are doing, Sometimes you have some ideas and put some things and more shadows are more darker or lighter. And so you have um, a lot of things happen in your mind while you are doing. So I think this is the best part. The best part, the creation. The creation, yeah. Throughout the process, it's still like a lot of creation coming through yeah. all the time. <laughs> nice. And oh, what's the most um, unusual or unexpected tattoo request that you've ever received? And how yeah. did you handle it? I guess I have a lot of different kind of, yeah. but the most different, but I didn't, was uh, some dicks. <laughs> a dick? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I, oh my God. <laughs> like, it has to do a lot of dicks in his, in his butt. <laughs> On his butt. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, okay, I, I, we can try to do that, but I start to think, and I say, well, I don't know. <laughs> I can But I, the, he gave up and, all right. <laughs> yeah, so he, he gave up, he said yeah. like, oh no, I'm not going to do no. it in the end. But the, on other stuff, I, I did like um, broccoli. Oh yes. With the <laughs> <laughs> with 
<laughs> you look really cute. <laughs> yeah, nice. Broccolis with eyes and smiling. Ah, oh, so cute. And, <laughs> uh, but uh, I think the most like unusual is in part of like private, like in. Ah, oh, like okay, yeah. Yeah. So I had I had to do. Uh, I did once like just up like here. Yeah, and yeah. And another one like just <laughs> behind like. Yeah. Uh, the whole yeah oh yeah 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 <laughs> oh wow yeah. that must be quite challenging no yeah a little bit yeah good. yeah not a good experience but i tried to put some papers like around to be more comfortable to cover it <laughs> yeah yeah and to still do it oh yeah. wow and so was there ever a tattoo that you refused to make because like the beep like the big thing like the guy <laughs> gave up but was there sometimes some someone asked you for a tattoo and you said no, I cannot do this one. Yeah, um, have one that he like. Um, how do I say? It's not lo uh, his dad. His dad. Yeah. Dad. Yeah. Uh, but I can say another way. You just got. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how can I say when he um, lives and he uh, he dad? He loses his dad when yeah. his dad die yeah. or something. His dad passed away. Yeah, his okay. dad passed away. Okay. So again. <laughs> okay. Again. All right. So yeah. Going. Um, so when he, uh, my client, my client dad, again, <laughs> uh, my client dad, uh, he passed away. So um, he wants to do the date. He of passed away the passing, mm -hmm. and the time. And I oh. say no, that kind of things are not for sure. I'm not gonna do because you have uh, emotional things and you're not thinking well. You need to put good things in, on your body, not bad things, because you're gonna remember this forever. Mm. So I refuse that and give him some advice to not do, not yeah. just with me, but for to not just yeah. do it, just to think it through, let yeah. it like cool down, and maybe. So yeah, so I I think money is not everything. It's not because we need money, we need to do tattoo. Yeah, we need to do everything. So sometimes you need to think about the clients. Of course, because then it's gonna be on them yeah. forever. Like yeah, 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 for sure. And um, talking about tattoo, so we know that tattoo can be painful. And what's the strangest or funniest reaction that you've ever seen from a client during the session? Mm. In <laughs> one, he, <laughs> he just like, um, when he just like, Light lose up. your conscience. Oh, he fainted? Yeah, he fainted. <laughs> like how I was starting to do, it was a line like this. Yeah. In here. On, like back, on, on the, the back. back. Yeah. And he started to like faint. faint. <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> oh no way! <laughs> and then later he he told me like he have afraid of needles and he didn't tell me. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. No way! <laughs> so basically he fainted while you were actually doing it and yeah. zip the line. Oh my god! That's and crazy. And sometimes people start to laugh. Oh really? <laughs> ah, I wouldn't stop. think. Oh yeah. I was trying to then laugh and I, I can't do it. I can't. Uh, you just moving, ha ha ha. Like <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna be like, oh man. Oh, I wouldn't think of that. Mm. And and how uh, how do you handle like a client that is uh, like highly sensitive to to pain, who's gonna be like as soon as you're gonna touch him, gonna be like ah like so so painful. How you do? Do um, you have some tricks? Yeah, I try to talk. Uh, before and while we are doing, yeah. and, I, and if he, they are like uh, feeling a lot of pain, um, I give her some time to like be more calm. But if they are not like handled with the pain, they I I ask them to bring some like um, anesthetic. Cream. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah. Yes. And they can just do that and then put and then it just relieves. A little bit. Like it immune the okay, yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. I didn't <laughs> even know. Okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, do you necessarily need to be good at drawing to be a good tattoo artist? Do you think it's necessary? Yeah, I guess. And it's hard so. to have an idea how to draw and everything. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think it's it's better to have idea how to uh, about the perspective, mm. the shadows, and mm. everything. Yes. But <coughs> have some tattoo artist doesn't have some idea about that, and they can do a good jobs also. Still, because it's just follow the lines and follow the drawing. But if you have idea how to draw, you can create more. You can improve more mm. about everything. 
Yes, because yeah, that's something as well. Like, do you always use um, tattoo transfer paper, or do you sometimes do it freehand? Yeah, most of the part uh, I use transfer. I prefer. Yeah. Uh, because skin is not all the same. If you are stand up, is one kind of. Um, shape, yeah, and then when you're laid down, is another. It's different. So if you do like just freehand, when you're gonna stand up, can be different. Oh yes, and it's hard to like still follow the. Yeah, but some artists can do like freehand, and some artists can do it like really well. Freehand, yeah. yeah. But I guess for this, you need to be good at drawing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Were you ever not satisfied with the tattoo that you made? Um, Did it happen ever? Yeah, happy a lot. I guess most of our artists. Yeah, uh, they are really critical about themselves. They, of yeah. course, even uh, clients is happy with the final the result. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we always think, oh, maybe it could be better. I could have been <laughs> doing this better. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes we can't finish well because they are feeling a lot of pain, and we need to are just rushing and do like a good way. Mm. But we know we can do sometimes better if they can a little bit more. If they can handle it yes. a little bit longer, you could have done like more. Okay, yeah, finish off better. Um, Wait, you're from Brazil, you said, and you had your own tattoo shop there, you said that as well. And do you find the tattoo culture in Australia different than the one in Brazil? Uh, yeah, uh, some things is similar. Yeah. Like for the fresh new clients, they don't have idea about the design or what they want to do. They just trust whatever you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say or the studio have there and uh, but i think here in australia have a lot of good really great other artists here mm -hmm. so this kind have a different kind of artists and different kind of lifestyle and everything so i think here they do more like full arm full legs oh so yeah i think it's better because i like these big, big pieces piece. yeah. yeah and rather in in Brazil, it's more like small tattoos. Yeah, more commercials. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. And yeah, and then the next question was actually, what is the biggest piece that you've ever done? And how long did it take you oh, to complete? I think full arm. A full Orient arm, yeah. yeah. It was our oriental. It's not my style. So but you did it anyways? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. did, and it was a challenge for me. Yeah. But I think the, the big one was that. Like the a whole arm? And how long did it take? to um, few sessions or yeah, few sessions. yeah. I couldn't remember <laughs> every yeah but yeah. it was okay it was a long yeah. a long time to complete and um, yeah we said a tattoo can be like a um, walking piece of art and you have many tattoo of your own I can tell uh, can you share with us a story behind one of your tattoo oh my god <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see um, everything have some history I don't like to do a tattoo because some meaning mm. uh, just happened. Uh, yeah. I was in somewhere and I think, oh, uh, I met some tattoo good artists like this one. Yeah. I met him in uh, Argentina. I okay. was there because this guy is he's an Italian a yeah. tattoo artist. Yeah. <laughs> and he invited me to go to Buenos Aires because I have a I expo. Oh, there. yeah. And uh, I met this guy because. I was in another expo. I was just translating for a, a Japanese tattoo artist. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, I did this one with an uh, American guy. He w because he um, he worked with uh, one of my like uh, favorite tattoo artists, who called Paul Wood, and this American guy was working with him like for five years. And this Japanese tattoo artist told me like, I, you have just unique chance, you need to do a tattoo with him. With him? Like, it's now <laughs> it's or really never? Good. Yeah, I'm gonna pay half for you, you need to do that. And he was really like, uh, in, 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 insisting, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and yeah. convincing, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. So I met all these guys in that convention and this Italian guy told me like, ah, come here, I'm gonna be in Buenos Aires, just next to Brazil. So I went there in Argentina and I met this uh, Argentine tattoo artist. artist. Yeah. And he was amazing. I never heard about him before. 
and I, I saw his job is like how amazing <laughs> and I said I want one I want one from you <laughs> so I have to happy with like her history so when, whenever I saw my tattoos I remember the what happened in that time the history it's not because just the meaning for myself okay yeah it's like the journey that you went yes. and then it's all on your body oh that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> and finally do you have any tips or advice for aspiring um, tattoo artists for people who wish to become tattoo artists yeah I think um, if they like to do that just do that you know, it's going to be an experience for your life. <laughs> yeah. If it doesn't like her, just give up and everything. Yeah. You have one in your life. So. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, it's better not just to tattoo, but learn about uh, ink, learn about the needles, learn about the skin, because every skin is different, um. can be infection. So you need to have a conscience that is not just a drown. Okay, it's, yeah. You're, you're living like a. I can say lady, like how you, are you? You're li like what do you want to uh, say? Like when you're um, you're uh, working, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's not just a work, and you need you is a person. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um, it's not just like. Yeah, random work is actually a person in front of you and it's gonna be on their yes. skin forever. Yes. Yeah, so we need to think about that. To be conscious, yeah. yeah to be conscious is, is a life you now. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So if you want to be a really good art artist, it's not think about the art, but think about the people, think about the skin and everything can happen. So if you learn about everything, you can do better everything. Yeah. And, and, and didn't damage anyone. So. Yeah, fair enough. No, that's fine. Awesome, that's good. Well, yeah. thank you. And another yeah. advice, like uh, when I was working in a tattoo shop, uh, I saw a lot of clients when they're just because they, uh, some parents passed away or family or son or whatever, and they want to do like uh, something to remember them. Mm -hmm. And I say, it's so sad. You want to do something when you lose someone. Yeah, and then I start to think about that and say, "Oh, my parents, they are alive. I want to then like uh, if I, I I do something, I want to do when they are alive mm -hmm. and they can see it. So I made this. You made this. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so these are your parents. Yeah, oh. and I choose like a wedding. Yeah, the they, wedding, they picture. wedding picture. Oh, nice. Because. Um, I, I I think nowadays it's so hard to have like a wedding so that so long and my parents show me a good value about family about marriage yeah and, uh, i want like to remember, to remember this <laughs> yeah yes so I, I choose wedding picture yeah so it's a uh, good advice like um you give a value while they are here your family and parents mm -hmm. yeah and not wait until yes. it's already too late yeah Thank you. Good advice. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Jana. Thank you all for watching. Um, don't hesitate to follow Jana on socials. Links will be in the description below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and share this with your friend if you enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the subscribe button for more. And I'll catch you all in the next interview. Bye bye. <laughs> I got it. Yes, <laughs> <I'm good. laughs>